I've lived here all my life. This, this is where I grew up. People are wading through devastation after flooding forced 15 families to evacuate in Kenton. I've lived in this neighborhood ever since I was four. The cobbles had little time to prepare their home for the swelling waters. Neighbors coming down there and helping us put pallets in houses, pick up the furniture, stack it up on top of each other. But they still don't know what damage has been done. I'm standing here in front of the Cobles house, and as you can see, the water is up to my ankles here right here. But as I take just a few steps down, the water is going to drop down almost all the way to my knees, and they're telling me that even farther out, it's up to their waist in some areas. Officials say problems with levees in the area caused the water to back up as high as it has. It was designed that way to go over the top in a certain section which would allow the water to slowly uh, uh, filter in and filter out of the city. But it's just hit some bottlenecks and it's just not being able to get out as fast as it needs to. And the community says they want something done. If there was something that could have been done to make the water go into the fields, instead of these people losing their homes. The mayor says they are working with people in the area to help prevent this kind of loss in the future. We are going to try to, to work with the uh, farmers if they'll work with us because something has got to be done. This, this is our people. But until then, we're just a waiting game now. In Kenton, Bethany Thompson, WBBJ7 Eyewitness News.